Okay, it's Andy Graham of uh, Hobo Traveler. I'm in uh, Lomi, Togo, and I, I had that motorcycle accident, right? Uh, my leg healed, and now, I don't know, I think there's an infection that went into my bloodstream, and I've had two different pimples that, I thought they were pimples, I kind of popped them, and they kind of started to get infection. I'm on my third one now, and it, it, what they do is, the minute you pop them, they sort of like, the infection goes into the leg. I'm going to try to show it to you. It's right there. It's really swollen up right now, and this lump right here. This happened just yesterday. So, I'll show you the burn on my leg. See that right there? That's That's got water in it. I had one on my foot and it went away. I had one up on my leg right here like a pimple and a pimple. So I've been taking amoxicillium now for about seven, eight years. That seemed to be the biotic of choice in Thailand, anywhere on the planet. And what I got to do is somehow somebody said, go get a lab test. Well, that's, that's Charlie Foxtrot, guys. What? What I think I, you know, I took on the two other pimples, I took a, continued with my uh, regime of amoxicillium, which I could just go in the drugstore and buy. And Aaron has written me a, an email trying to give me some recommendations on which medicine. Now what I got to do is take what she's writing, put it in there, and if I can figure out the brand name, you know, like there's like different medicine names for it. You got Advil, then you got the medicine behind it, which is a generic drug. Then I go to Wikipedia, I look it up, the generic word, and then I click on the left where it says French, and then I <laughs> I print it out, I take it to the pharmacy, and I go through about 10 people until I find one that can read French. Uh, it's almost painful for an African to read. Um, It'd be, it'd be like a third grader trying to read. He goes, hello, how are you? You can almost see the sub-vocalization sub going on. Uh, just because they work in a pharmacy doesn't mean they're a pharmacist here. It just means they work in a pharmacy. And so to cut through this is, is really a never-ending series of steps. But uh, what I do see in America is that the Americans somehow just say, go to the doctor, get this. They assume, because they go to the doctor on every little thing, like it's just like a headache, right? I can't do that. I can't just go to the doctor and explain them. I mean, you could sit and, you know, you think you're sitting a long time in the doctor's office in America. Oh, this is horrible. This And it's not air conditioned, and it's, you know, hospitals here are like, oh, my God. They are hot. They're dirty. They're just, they're full of sick people. And everybody's looking at me, and then the doctor knows that he's going to hit a home run if he does something the right way. And then the lab. I ha I'm going to talk to what, what the normal strategy right now I'm going to do is I, I have some friends here in Lomi. And if you're in an expat community, you can go find about 10 people. You ask one of them. One of them is going to give you the good advice. And that's the problem. You've got to have discernment. And discernment's only, you know, not very many people have it. But if you can be savvy, have the discernment, figure out which one. But everybody should go through about 10 people asking them questions and then think, who do I trust? Some of you really need to take notes. And uh, you definitely cannot trust the locals. They just, uh, they would just let you sit in the room and, I mean, they, may, they go to the doctor a lot too, but they, uh, they don't really, they don't think the way we do, okay? And I have, they have their typical problems here and I have my typical problems, but we're all different, we're all unique. But generally overall, it's, uh, I need to find five medicines, antibiotic type stuff that are for different types of things, and I'd almost just rather take them and not worry about it and then uh, try to go through the Charlie Foxtrot of going to the hospital and stuff. It's only in a, a small infection, okay? It's a pimple that got out of control. I think I have uh, some malnutrition right now, meaning that I've been eating too many crackers and then a fruit 
because when my system gets slow, I get pimples, I get boils, I get styes, I get things like that. I know my system well enough that I know that all through my life, even in America, when I was on two-a-day football practices, I got malnutrition. It was not the proper nutrient balance. So I'm trying to buy vegetables and eat some lentils and some string beans and pineapple and oranges. You know, I'm trying to eat all the stuff that I need to eat to keep my thing and I'm making sure I take my vitamins. I know people, they don't really, they, everybody wants to complain about everything you can do. But you can only do what you can do. And I will waddle my way through this as I do it. And, and this is what, I, I think some of you look at everything as, a, as an emergency, like you're going to go to the emergency room. You don't die that quick, guys. It's going to take, it would, even if I was going to die from this, it'd probably take at least a month. <laughs> Nothing sneaks up on you that much, okay? So, and because I have all this surplus time, but I don't get to go off work when I get sick, so there's no reason to take a sick day for me. <laughs> I mean, so I sort of, I want, I don't want to be sick. While some of you guys like to be sick because you get a sick day. Go figure. People want to be sick so they can go to the doctor and... I don't know. It's it's a cuddle thing, right? Everybody needs that. I look at me sympathy thing. I don't want it, but I do need five bi bi antibiotics. I'm Aaron, this nurse in uh, Minnesota, gave me a big long email. I'm going to break it down into you know block lines and try to get the medicine in, and then try to get it figured out in generic terms and. You know, it's not as easy as just taking... You can't take that email into a French... They would just look at me and start laughing. So it's it's like translation, guys. <laughs> it is, it's, it's never as easy as... I, everybody in America, they always... They must go to the doctor all the time. I I would do any... I don't, I don't go to the doctor in these other places. It's just the last thing I would do. It's just... I just don't... I, I just, I, I would love to stay in one place long enough where I could actually find one doctor I trust. Um, I had some pretty good ones in Maguatalan and this, uh, across the lake. And they had some American nurses that were volunteering there. Uh, I just, you know, it's really, really confusing, but it's not really as dangerous as you think. I mean, you're not really, people... People go to the doctor as if it's an emergency. The number of people that probably show up at the emergency room, I, I, I bet only one in, one in 30 of them are actually uh, emergencies. And the rest are just kind of in a panic phase. I don't get in that panic phase. I never get in that panic phase. Um, okay, Andy Graham talking about my sore. And... I'm going to find something besides amoxicillium, and maybe I can find a laboratory, and that would be hilarious. I mean, they could charge as much as $400 to test that. Don't think this is just thing. They wouldn't know what to test it for, so they'd want to do 500 different tests, right? It's not. They don't cut and slice it down in America. They just they use shotguns here. They don't really use deductive logic or break it down, and, you know, they don't. They don't do all this thing. But America does the same thing, right? You can, but you pay for it in insurance and you don't know it. So they, they test and they test and they test for all these crazy things. It has nothing to do with it, just to make sure they don't have mal, uh, malpractice, right? But at the end of the day, I think this is a combination of malnutrition and low vitamin thing. And uh, I'm old. I'm 58 years old and these things just, uh, they're winning.